Okay. My name is uh, Margaret Moniki. I work for Caritas Africa and I'm here to attend a board meeting of CAFOD. This is my first time to attend the board since I was appointed so that I could bring in the perspectives of Caritas Africa as CAFOD works a lot in Africa and also bring in the perspectives of uh, gender because uh, gender issues should and must be integrated in the highest decision-making structures. Now, I have a special passion for gender, and uh, this is not just uh, from getting interested, but it is right from my background. I was born in a rural village, right in the rural areas, and uh, next to a slum in the rural village, where I witnessed as I grew up women being battered, children being battered by men. And uh, in most cases, most of these women were taking rescue into our homes. I saw my friends as young girls when I was in lower primary. We used to work together being battered and they would come and tell me horrifying stories about how they have been battered at home and how they have gone hungry and how they have suffered under the battering from either their close relatives and particularly if they are single mothers. And we journeyed with them. But as young girls who could not understand why women were being battered, we said we wouldn't want to grow in a situation where we continue being battered. So from that, I got an inspiration to work for women, to work towards uh, women empowerment when I grew up. And I was praying that I could get a chance also to understand why women were being battered. So as I grew up, I got the passion. I, my background uh, in education is a business administration, but uh, I grew up wanting to help more women. And uh, I became a teacher. And as a teacher, I started working, empowering women, training women in development education program which basically focused on poverty eradication because poverty, helplessness is a big source of violence against women as they are dependent on their, on their male counterparts, either as fathers, as husbands or as brothers. So I started working with the women on a voluntary basis in my diocese, in my diocese, Moranga diocese, but uh, I got a job with Kenya Episcopal Conference and the program I was employed to as a program officer was women program. And I thought I cannot work on women program alone because that's only working with half of the humanity and not addressing the issues of why also men are prone to uh, creating violence to women. So I changed the program to women and gender development program and Risti did I know that the term gender was not very friendly uh, within the church circles because it has negative connotations and at times it's also confused with the feminism. So I started the gender program. I'm grateful to the German corporation uh, that taught me gender issues and uh, I started programs that are addressing women issues and that are also addressing men issues because sometimes from our own African culture, men are seen to be the breadwinners and the providers at household level. When they cannot be able to fulfill their role, they are frustrated and they vet such frustration on women through violence. And therefore there is also a need to address men and issues that are affecting men, hence the gender program that looks at the issues and the need for both men and women to be considered in development. The issue of gender is a justice issue. It's an issue that should look at justice for men and justice for women. And therefore, it addresses issues of equality and issues of equity. It is such an important aspect of our work as church uh, or faith-based organizations because as the Bible says, he, Jesus came to bring life and bring life abundantly. 
So it's not to bring life a burden trade to women or bring life a burden trade to men. It is to both men and women. So with our work in Caritas, there is a dire need to really focus on issues that affect both men and women in our work. And that calls for integration of both men and women because both of them have different perspectives according to their socialization process. We are all molded by culture and therefore there is need to integrate these cultural views and create a culture that promotes equality and equity of both men and women in development.